everybody, it's Michelle here again with I'm a Mommy. And today I decided to do something a little bit different because I kind of get sick of the exact same background every single time I do videos. So I decided to do it from Will's bedroom today. Will is just hanging out on the ground. He probably will make a special guest appearance because he hasn't been in any of my videos for a very, very long time. So, um, hi. He needs to go down for a nap, but he's not going down for a nap. So I thought, hey, I'll just make a video while he's awake. So anyway, I wanted to do a video today because this was something that I personally had a question about when I first had to deal with it. And it is what you need to do when your baby has a cold. And I know it seems kind of weird. And for a lot of you moms who have, you know, have had babies and everything, you're probably like, why are you doing a video on something so simple? But if you've never had a kid, then you have no idea. So I just wanted to share with you some of the tips and some of the things that you need to know because... Fall is here, basically. Summer is over, so people are going to be getting sick, including, unfortunately, your children. And Will totally agrees. That's why he said, bah! So, I kind of wanted to show you what items you need and just kind of like some things that you can do to help ease, you know, your child's pain and that sort of thing. So the first thing that you're going to need, this is the scientific term, is a booger sucker. And I talked about this in my baby medicine cabinet must-haves. I'll link that video below. But this is so important to help get all the mucus out of your child's nose because obviously they're little and they don't know how to blow their nose. So, hi Willie. He's being very sad. So this is very crucial and when your child has a cold they're gonna have tons and tons of you know mucus, everything. So suck it out with the booger sucker. Obviously, since they're going to have a lot of boogers, you're going to need to keep wiping and wiping and wiping their nose. So it might get a little chafed. So make sure that you have some petroleum jelly to help put around their nose, their mother nose. Make sure that they don't inhale it and suck it up. But this will definitely help so it doesn't get all, hi baby, so it doesn't get all, you know, chafed and painful and that sort of thing. When you first realize that your child's getting kind of sick, make sure to take their temperature. Um, some people say that you can put it up their bum. I just put it up Will's armpit and just hold it until it beeps. Just to kind of figure out what his temperature is and that sort of thing. So if it's really high, then I definitely recommend calling your doctor. And if any of their symptoms... Yeah! And if any of their symptoms seem kind of extreme, like I think if their mucus is like really, really green or something, definitely call the doctor because you don't know what's going on and you want to make sure that everything's okay. Also, depending on how old your baby is, you can give your child ibuprofen, the drops. I think Will wants to make an appearance. Come here. Say hi. Say, I'm all grown up. Yep, that's right, all grown up. Anyway, so you can give your child ibuprofen and that should help take down their fever. And the second to last product that I think is a lifesaver for when your child has a cold, he wants to grab the petroleum jelly, is Vicks Vaporub. And this stuff is incredible. It's a cough suppressant too, but you put it on your baby's chest. And this is something that helped so much the last time Will had a cold. What I would do is first thing when he wake up in the morning, I'd use the booger sucker to get out all the boogies from your nose. And then I'd put the Vicks VapoRub all over his chest. And it was sad because I was sick as well. So I put the VapoRub all over his chest. And then we would go into the bathroom and I'd shut the door and I'd turn on the shower to really, really, really scorching hot. And we would just let the whole bathroom just get really steamy and we just sat there for like 10-15 minutes and it really helped clear his nose and my nose as well so that's kind of a trick if your baby can't breathe and if they're miserable yeah say use mix vapor rub please that's right so that will definitely help kind of clear the congestion and everything like that so Will can you hold up to the camera to show everybody oh that's the wrong side okay <laughs> last but not least, I think this is like the most important thing that helps your child sleep through the night. I would always put this vapor rub as well on their chest before he went to bed just to kind of help him breathe. The last thing that is very, very, very helpful in getting your child to sleep through the night when they have a cold is a humidifier. And I looked around everywhere and there are humidifiers everywhere, but I found this really cute brand that every humidifier is a different animal and I chose to get this froggy one. So let me get it for you. Okay, so here is the froggy humidifier. This is the brand. 
Yeah, really likes it. He wants to put it. But how cute is that? It's a little frog. I couldn't decide between the panda or the frog. But you take this off and you fill it up with water. And you need to make sure that when you get a humidifier for your baby, for your child, for the nursery, that you get the cool mist humidifier. I can't remember where I read it, but it's really bad to have the other kind of humidifier. So get a cool mist humidifier. I don't think this was very expensive at all. I just got it on Amazon, but I've seen it at Bed Bath and Beyond and other places since then. So get a humidifier, it helps your child breathe. So those are some of my tips to help you through your child's first cold. And if you guys have any comments, if I know there are a lot of experienced moms that you know watch my videos and are subscribers, so please, please, please comment below and let me know some of the tricks that you have used to help your child get through their cold because cold season is unfortunately coming up. Also, you can email me at iamamommyofone at gmail.com as always. And I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm loving fall. I'm loving this cool, beautiful weather. It just makes me want to go to a football game, even though my family doesn't really go to football games because we're too busy with other things. <laughs> but I have a fall haul coming up, so stay tuned for that. We've purchased a few items. Will wants to say bye, so let me get him. Okay, so thanks for watching you guys, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye! Say bye! Say bye! It's a good smile.